Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla Season 4. And Season 4 is quickly coming to a close. This is going to be the last video on the server. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you around the hidey hole that's here at town spawn. Not spawn spawn, but the other town spawn. And then we're going to go take a look at what I have set up as my quote unquote base. So let's get turned around here and bring back the HUD. Yeah, there we go. And take a look. So we're right by the communal farms. And uh, right here, we what we all did is we got over to spawn and we tucked into this hillside right here. And I was one of the last to come over. And so I got the very last spot. So I've kind of set up over here. We've got Olaf here. He likes warm hugs. Maybe not. I don't think he's too happy about being in a savanna. But he's there. Anyway. And then over here, we've got the horse that has not been named. And uh, it's Dog Slow. Maybe that should be its name. And not a great jumper. Yep. So. Oh, and I'm in the, I'm in the cobweb. All right, let's go take a look inside here. Okay, so I've got a little mailbox right here and it's full of goodies for it's not it's more of an outgoing mailbox rather than an incoming mailbox. And there's goodies that I've gotten from my fishing setup. So we're going to go in here, take a look at all the things that I have. Uh, you know, what? let's go. Let's go over here to the farming chest. No wheat. So let's get a little bit of wheat here and replant. And we'll just chuck that up in there. Excellent. So let's go in here. I need I needed some wheat to show you something I've got uh, tucked in right here. So I got some cows, and there is a dispenser there that responds to that redstone signal, and this lets me just breed them up. And we'll turn them back down, and uh, what we end up doing is using insty cramming to get uh, some some cows and some beef and leather. And let's, oh, I had some wheat right here. Let's let's do a little bit more, shall we? Even though we don't really need it. But this is kind of fun. Yeah, you hear them just dying in there. So we've got right around 25 different cows that are in there. And that, that took care of them. Lots of them. So we got some more raw beef coming in. But I got plenty. So anyway, this is the hidey hole that I tucked into and got started in. Uh, remember all of the iron that uh, I ended up mining for the gold farm? It all came from this series of mines down here. Uh, we'll we'll poke around there so you can see the extent of it a bit. Got an enchanting setup here. Got a little tree farm, and then not it's not a really fast furnace array, but it works. I've been doing a lot of nether brick in here. Oh, this was all VB stuff. He came by and got. Some of it, but not all of it. Hmm. Oh, well. It doesn't really matter. Uh, this is going to be the last uh, last evening. No, no. Yeah. Yep. At the time I'm recording, the last day for the server will be tomorrow morning. And then Lapis is going to be shutting it down. And we will be opening up the new server, Season 5, uh, on the Saturday following. So I guess the day that this video comes out, we'll be starting Season 5. I think that's how it's going to work, and we'll have a series on that. So anyway, over here in the hidey hole, I've got a little bit of a, well, it's, a, it's not a highly efficient cactus farm, but whenever people are around, it's running. And so we've got a little bit of cactus in here. Then we come over here, and I've got a melon and pumpkin farm right here. Again, if anybody's in the area, we will get uh, some, not, not a lot, okay? It's just a little bit here and there. So either the melon will grow on here or the pumpkin. As soon as it does, it hits this observer or the observer says, hey, there's something there. And there's a piston back uh, behind this slime block. And that moves the whole thing forward. And we've got a hopper that catches the uh, the little bits that come in. So again, good enough for a little bit here and there. Not, not overly efficient. And that's fine. Up here, we've got a little bit of a vine farm going and a sugar cane farm. When oh, so four of them will hit the observers there, and the entire row will get get um, get pushed. 
and it's doing decently enough. Okay, again, not majorly efficient, but oh, there we go. So there we go. We got got some nice. All right. So that is the hidey hole up here. I used to have storage all along this wall, but I've moved it over to my more permanent base. I left this area in here just in case anybody wanted to come by and use it. Down here, we've got some chickens, just a couple chickens, and they have filled up this uh, chest. Is it double chest? Single chest. And then back here, we've got a an automatic fisher. And I think I've moved, yeah, I've moved everything out. There's some saddles right there, but I think, gotta get everything out of here. No, there's a little bit of stuff left, but all in all, not so exciting. We've gotten our mending books and then uh, Lapis found a mending villager over at her place. So that's where we've done mending from here on out. All right, you can see on the map, the caves starting to come in and you should be able to see the mining effort there. You see that? Yeah, that was required to get all of that iron for the gold farm. And, and it's not just me down here. It's others on the server that have been down here, but, uh, let's, let's point, we're pointing North. Let's bring up the map. Oh, it's not showing the caves. Oh, well, it just shows overworld. Yeah. So pretty much everything off to the East was my mining effort. So you see all that? Yeah. It goes very far that direction and very far that direction. And that's what you need to do if you decide not to build your iron farm before your gold farm. So that's the mining that I did down there. And that's pretty much all I did here at this spawn was fishing and mining. And then I went and did all of the various farms. Now, I think we're at nighttime. So let's go ahead and reset the spawn point. Uh, nobody else is on the server with me. I think everybody else is pretty much finished and they are... Uh, they're done. So, anybody around? Yeah. I want to not be around creepers and anything else that may be there. So, what we're going to do now is head into Town Hall. And we'll go into the nether. And go up to where my base is. Uh, which direction? Let's go. It's on the third floor. I mentioned it for the witch farm, uh, witch farm video that I'm down the green terracotta hall on the third floor. So let's turn around here. Okay. Hopefully it didn't make you so dizzy there. All right. So what we can do here, these things are tall enough that we should be able to fly. It takes about three level three rockets to get to my entrance. And that's if I time them correctly. All right. And so this should be my entrance right here. Yes, it is. All right. So, yep, this is it. So I came in, uh, it's, it's been about a month or so, or maybe two months, came in and did this design. If this looks familiar for those of you that are longtime viewers, this, this may seem familiar. I did this for the witch farm on season three, but I really liked the design, even though it you know, took a lot of resources, but I really liked it. It's got fair amount of detail in it and very clean yep anyway so i just rehashed it you know but this one we're pretty far down here and this particular flight path is a little bit more uh, more precarious because the tunnel's not that tall okay so you could end up whacking yourself on the head uh, on those yeah and that would not be good because our respawn point is back at town spawn yep so we're going to go through here this is my nether portal. Come through. And here we go. All right. So I've got a beacon set up. And really, I haven't done much in terms of actual base building. This is more like I put all the farms out, put a little bit of storage out, and there we go. So I had grandiose plans of building a really nice looking house and all of that fun stuff, but never got around to it. Let's take a flight around just so you can see what I was kind of looking at or working with. We've got a dark oak forest island 
a little bit of beach structure here and then oh phone's going off and then some plains slash forest over here and you can see some of the amenities that we did end up doing here so uh, let's take them in turn from the nether portal okay and uh while i see what's going on on my phone what's going on here ah okay it's from from my wife and i will have to take a look at that in just a moment because this won't take too long all right so over here we've got some turtle shells and uh, they haven't really grown at all uh, because i don't let it get to night and turtle shells need or turtle eggs need nighttime for them to fully hatch uh, down here we've got a little bit of a mine going on not nothing major and then a water elevator to come back up and i've got some jungle what are the jungle trees yeah so i don't know why i had those probably just because and then this is my storage area a bunch of shulker boxes things are mostly uh, organized i mean yeah uh, within reason i guess yeah some potion brewing supplies there potions yada yada okay so yeah all that that's that's most of the storage and then we've got bulk storage over here stone yeah and then the other types andesite granite diorite so it's from all of the mining over at town spawn uh, all of that got condensed down into choker boxes here a bunch of other bulk storage items all the stuff from fishing it's all in here yep so there we go other standard farm stuff that you would expect so if we're taking care of uh, any brewing here's the nether what nether wart yeah that's what we're calling it cocoa beans and then right here here's one of my favorite farms anybody know what this is about some of you might know technical minecrafters among you might know yep i don't like crafting uh crafting these things or crafting rails so we've got a neat little thing here you can see what it's producing for me and we'll just turn that off because we don't really need it running anymore we're all done so yeah there we go it is a rail duplicator yes yes i i build rail duplicators all right yep so just for you know just to let you know uh where no i, I still need you because just in case somebody needs to get into one of the behind the scenes areas i don't know where all of these rails go there we go we'll just chuck those in there all right so that's kind of the, the little bit storage uh some basic farms here we've got uh, a bunch of furnaces sheep cows and pigs the sheep are still in their green wool from the witch farm build and i haven't done anything with them since then the snow golem I did have a minecart in here, but I accidentally shot it with, uh, you, turns out you can hit minecarts from the corner here and it's still in here. And I didn't bother putting it back in. We've got our standard other farm, wheat, and then pumpkin, what else we got in here? Uh, carrots, potatoes, we got beetroot too. Never did that one. There's the hole that goes down to oh, almost a bedrock. And so watch that step. It's a doozy. We got some melons growing over here. And then we've got our cactus farm, which is only running when I'm out here. And this is sufficient enough. Okay. I, I did this primarily to get Will's green terracotta for the nether tunnel, the, the main one from, from the main nether hub, and then also the green wool. So uh, this is probably an overkill type cactus farm but it works you know nothing a couple levels that's it nothing like season three there's another one okay all right the next thing i need to show you is uh let's get a little bit of this going is the slime farm and we'll do this right here okay so again i I wasn't needing to go for massively efficient or anything like that. So we've got two levels only on this and it's produced sufficiently. So it's not, it's not going all out. We've got this chest is full. This chest is a little bit full, but uh, we've got plenty of over uh, overage protection here. Let's see if we can get up on top of the thing. 
so I can show you the mechanics there. So both sides of the slime farm have uh, mine carts running down there that pick up all the drops and they shoot them into an item stream that then goes into this water elevator. So it's two-sided. These slime balls will come up in this and then they fall forward and we've got a minecart hopper below that sand and that's leading down into that whole set of hoppers and chests down below. Now, I mentioned on the witch farm, yeah, there we go, we got some more, on the witch farm tour that I, I didn't want to go behind the scenes on that to show the mechanism I was using for collecting these things, but this is pretty much it. It's got the uh, water elevator, and then we've got a minecart hopper under some sand, and then uh, all the items will go over top of that. So if anything happens to, if that minecart, that hopper minecart happens to fill up, uh, it's not going to pick up anymore and everything will just go right into the cactus. And so that's the way we protect even the witch farm. So that's the mechanic. I didn't want to dig into the witch farm and have to fix it all back and all that. So there you go. So you've seen this, you understand what's behind in the witch farm. So uh, those are the biggies for the base here. And yeah, so did not do much in terms of base building. Uh, no major structures back here, or no unifying structures rather. We got you know, a little bit here and there, but nothing major. So that is the, the end of our time here on season four. Certainly enjoyed the start of the season, uh, really getting used to the update aquatic for that and then didn't really do much with the village and pillage update and only a little bit with the buzzy bees and that's mostly on another server i've been playing on with my kids and may see some videos from that in the future so uh what i'm doing here let's just uh just bring this to a close hopefully you enjoyed this tour of what i've been doing on hypermind season four season five will be starting very soon i've got some plans for what i want to do on this season and i hope you'll join me so uh, be sure that you have hit subscribe and you've got the notification bell hit also so you'll know when those come out. But season five is just around the corner and I'm excited for what we've got. So stay tuned. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. All right. A little bit of a postscript here. Uh, I probably should have done this earlier, but uh, something I'm going to do is I'm going to take the inventory here and I'm going to put it in this series of shulker boxes right here. These were the ones that I were I was keeping in my inner chest. So uh, so yeah, so uh, we'll just put all of this stuff into this chest right here. This is the main part of the inventory. And there we go. So I've got nothing left on me there. Okay, a bunch of okay, project box, flight. Okay, nothing in there, and then all the food. So there you go. If you happen to, I don't know if the world download will be available or not, but if you happen to want it, feel free to come on here and there we go. All right. So that's it. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.